Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about our sell ticket add on, and today's topic will be overriding the template files for the sell ticket add on. Previously, we showed you how to override template files for our WP Event Manager plugin and our registration add on. Today is the same, but for the sell ticket add on. So, to get started, I'll always suggest an FTP to edit those PHP template files or your web hosting's default code editor. I'll highly suggest you stay out of the WordPress default built-in editor because if you make any mistakes on the PHP side, it's gonna break the site and you will lost access to the WP admin area or to the site as well. So I'm logged in to my FTP on this tab. So in your website route, you will always find an public HTML or htdocs folder. In my case, it's public, but, but mostly it's public HTML or htdocs. So inside the public HTML or HDocs, we need to go inside WP content. Then we need to go inside plugins. Then we need to go inside WP event manager sell tickets. Now we will go into templates. In here we have all the template files for our sell ticket add-on. For this video, we're gonna select this content ticket details file. Let's click on edit. I'll show you what it does in the front end, but for that we need to go inside an event first. Let's go inside this event. You see this ticket information, this table over here, that's being generated by this template. So we're not gonna modify this file directly. We're gonna close this file instead. What we're gonna do, we're gonna download this file. Then we're gonna go back to WP content. Then we're gonna go inside themes. And after that, we're gonna go inside our active theme. So in my case, that's event listing. And now here we're gonna create a folder named WP Event Manager Cell Tickets. Click on OK to create the folder. Now we're gonna go inside this newly created folder. Now we're gonna upload this file of ours that we just downloaded. And now we can edit this as we like. One very simple tip, whenever you are modifying these theme files or overriding the template files, make sure you keep them up to date with our default or provided template files. So in that case, you don't lose any functionalities or any features in upcoming updates. So being that's out of the way, in here we see the block of codes. Feel free to explore this code, modify them, make layouts as you like. Imagination is the key here. I'm not gonna modify this file heavily. For just the demonstration check, I'm gonna include some HTML tag at the top. If we come back to our event page and inspect this element over here. So we have our WP ticket info title. So then we have our heading text. Let's say we wanna make this text much bigger, like maybe to maybe shift to an H2 or H1 tag. So this is how we can do that. We can come over here, find the WP heading text. So as you can see, I already found it. What we can do, we can change it to H1 on each end. Remove this class since it's style based. And let's save this file. Now, if we reload this page, let's inspect this element again. And we have our h1 instead of the h3. So this is pretty much basic HTML editing. You guys are already familiar with that. And as this margin looks kind of bad, let's remove this by applying some inline styling. Style margin zero. Now save this file again. Now let's reload. Scroll up a bit. And now we have a perfect text. So this is how you modify a template file for our entire franchise, let alone the sell ticket add-on. But one thing to consider is always keep your overrided or customized template file up to date with our official one so you don't miss out any feature or any updates. Being that said, always try to use an FTP or your web hosting's default file manager. Using WordPress default editor is okay, but 
if you make any mistakes by chance on the php side it's gonna break the side and then you have to go back to ftp or your hosting code editor and fix that again to gain access back to your website so that's pretty time consuming and being that said that's pretty much for this video thanks for coming along and i'll catch you in the next one